top priority for the house and the senate republican caucus has always been job creation uh... we also do not believe that job creation is a partisan issue we've worked on those issues in a bipartisan fashion uh... at the end of session we had a couple proposals that came up a little short there were some differences between the house and the senate as soon as session was over myself and the president pro tem rob mayor uh... got to work on trying to bridge that gap and we're here today to announce that we have there's more than one point five billion dollars in taxpayer savings by reducing eliminating or requiring timely mandatory reviews of various tax credits uh, while creating new incentives to keep and bring much needed jobs to our state i don't have to tell you you're aware that the world has changed over the last ten to fifteen years and the types of tax credit programs that are in place today uh, may not work for tomorrow you know, really at the end of session we weren't that far off between the house and the senate it was just a matter really of running out of time at the end of session but as you go through and take a look what the principal differences are uh, they principally deal with the, the caps on historics okay and then the sunsets on historics and low incomes and then there's some minor changes throughout the bill but <coughs> the, the senate position at the end of session was I believe $85 million total cap on historics. Uh, the House position was $95 million. We ended up at 90. Okay, uh, <clears throat> The position between the two bodies was somewhere between you know, four and ten years on sunsets. Uh, we ended up on seven on both programs. 